देवी अहिल्या विश्वविद्यालय डी फॉर्मली यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ इंदौर वॉज इस्टैब्लिश इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फोर बाय एन एक्ट ऑफ लेजिस्लेचर ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश डी ए वी वी इज अ स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी हुज ट्यूरिस्टिक्शन इज स्प्रेड इन टू इंदौर एंड सेवन ट्राइबल डोमिनेटेड डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ इंदौर डिविजन नेमली झाबुआ अली राजपुर धार खरगोन खंडवा बुरहानपुर एंड बड़वानी It is thus serving the educational needs of the most industrially developed city in Dor on one hand and on the other hand it is catering to the needs of socially and economically deprived seven tribal dominated districts of the state The university has two separate campuses namely Nalanda and Takshashila for administrative and academic purposes which cater to more than 11500 students in UTDs and 260 affiliated colleges serving approximately 2.7 lakh students the university provides academic autonomy to the various departments under its ordinance 14 as a result it has innovated its teaching programs in every specialized field utds and affiliated colleges are offering these courses which has led to indore becoming a hub of higher education the vision of the university derives from its motto dio yo na prachodaya accordingly the university has adopted and given to itself the following vision and mission emerge as a premier higher learning institution by creating advancing and disseminating knowledge with collective wisdom through value imbued holistic education for peaceful sustainable and humane society educating and empowering the learners to realize their potential through the righteous blending of knowledge skills and values for serving society The university has 29 teaching departments which offer 195 undergraduate, postgraduate and research programs under 16 different faculties as per its vision. More than 70% courses across all programs are focused towards enhancing employability in major sectors of growth of the Indian economy such as management, media, IT, international business, biotechnology data sciences etc several courses are aligned with the sustainable development goals like environmental sustainability employability global partnership developments etc the university also offers courses like tribal economics regional development and the lifelong learning to fulfill the local development needs keeping up the pace with changing technology the university has launched a number of courses moocs on the swayam platform to connect with students worldwide DAVV is a pioneer university in starting self supporting courses since 1990 in the country out of 29 teaching departments 20 offer courses on self supporting basis thus marching towards attaining considerable self reliance The University Ordinance 14 provides academic autonomy to the departments. As a result, need-based, competency-oriented, and knowledge-based curriculum with academic flexibility is the hallmark of curriculum design, which is executed through the semester mode. Curricula PO and PSOs developed and adopted on the basis of feedback from the students, parents, alumni, and external experts have relevance to the local, national, regional. and global developmental needs focusing on employability research and overall development of students the diverse programs offered in the different institutes schools departments centers of university have incorporated cross cutting issues like environmental sustainability promoting gender equity women empowerment employability global partnership development etc apart from the regular curriculum the university also has specifically adopted gender equality policy green policy and value promotion and ethics policy to ensure additional thrust on these areas 
choice based credit system additional value added courses dissertation project work internships and elective courses ensure flexibility in academics curriculum enrichment and academic audit is a general practice in the teaching departments and is done through periodical review which takes place from various stakeholders transparency in evaluation is one of the major strengths of this university the evaluation process is internal and grade credit based the departments conduct internal 40% and at the end of the semester 60% examination autonomously the evaluator answer copies are compulsorily shown to the students to ensure transparency in the evaluation process this has enabled the university to ensure timely completion of a grievance free evaluation system The university student enrollment profile and admission process for various courses is transparent to all stakeholders. Admissions are made through common entrance test (CET) for professional courses and merit cum entrance test in others. The admission tests for various courses are conducted in several cities of the country. Approximately 25,000 applications are received every year. for admission to around 3500 seats across 195 programs in UTDs in the affiliated colleges the admission process is through a guideline laid down by the department of higher education madhya pradesh over the past 5 years there has been growth in the number of student enrollments in teaching departments and affiliated colleges the reservation policy of the state for sc st obc women differently abled persons freedom fighters wards jkr and jkm ensures diversity in admissions the state government offers scholarships and free trips to the students belonging to these categories schools institutes have adequate well qualified nationally and internationally acclaimed faculty authors and researchers the university encourages diversity in the recruitment of faculty while adhering to ugc regulations norms for faculty recruitment and promotions student centric methods adopted by the faculty are an integral part of the pedagogy that includes experiential learning participative learning and problem solving methodologies the learning environment is conducive for developing critical thinking creativity and a scientific temper a two tier induction program for newly admitted students mentoring counseling remedial classes for slow learners and training opportunities for advanced learners enable the students to reflect learning outcomes in terms of impressive pass percentage of more than 90% and lower dropouts this is also evident from the large number of student selection in national level competitive exams like upsc mppsc ugc csir net and jrf gate gre etc and high percentage of placement approximately 70% of willing candidates in most of the programs the university facilitates the participation of its teachers in faculty recharge programs in the last 5 years 176 faculty members received funding support for attending conferences and workshops 32.22 lakhs has been given as seed money grant five faculty members have been on an international faculty exchange the faculty members have received national state awards and fellowship certificate of appreciation souvenirs awards prizes seed money grant etc for their contribution to teaching and research The university at its own level also rewards its teachers every year for best performance in research. 
the university has research and consultancy policy and a code of ethics which focuses on promoting institutional sponsored impactful policy research done ethically. As a result of this, the research environment has been enhanced. University follows UGC regulation 2009 for admission in PhD and MPhil programs in all the subjects. There are 161 PhD supervisors. More than 400 PhDs were awarded in last five years. The university has received a grant of rupees 13 crores for major and minor research projects in the last five years from UGC, CSIR, DBT, ICAR, DST, ICSSR, MPCUST, DRDO, etc. Educational Multimedia Research Center, EMRC, which is fully UGC supported, has received over rupees 7 crores in the 12th plan from CEC UGC and rupees 85 lakhs from MHRD for developing e contents for NMEICT. Seven teaching departments are supported under various phases of UGC SAP two under DST FIST, one by DBT, and three departments are clubbed into CPEP of UGC. The university has excellent research facilities in terms of laboratory equipment, research journals and research incentives made available to the faculty. University researchers also avail the facilities of national institutions. The university has acquired several chairs like Baha'i Chair, State Planning Commission Chair on Microeconomic Governance and Sindhu Shodh Peet from government bodies for studies in development disciplines. Faculty members have published more than 1,900 research papers in peer-reviewed journals, 72 chapters, 4 monographs, 14 edited books, 32 books and 2 patents in the last 5 years. The consultancy services have generated rupees 75 lakhs revenue in the last five years. Faculty members have also presented a large number of papers in national and international conferences and published papers in proceedings of the conferences and they are also serving on the boards of national and international journals as editors and reviewers. The faculty and research scholars of the university have received Best Research Paper Awards and other prestigious awards from various organizations. Two research scholars of the School of Life Sciences have been selected for the Indian National Science Academy, Young Scientist Award and Humboldt Fellowship, Germany. The university has taken big steps towards promoting innovation and entrepreneurship in the last five years. The Industry Institute Partnership Cell has entered into MOUs with several organizations. University teaching departments have collaborations with national and international institutes. These efforts have resulted in 17 startups being nurtured and expanded by students. The university is increasingly involved in conducting outreach programs like the welfare of the society and to make students empathetic towards social issues. NSS, Young Indians, YI, CII, Blue Ribbon Club, Social Connect Club are some platforms for extension services which have conducted several activities such as clean energy drive, women and child health care awareness, blood donation camps, free health checkups, eye checkup camps, science awareness programs, intoxication eradication, plantation and cleanliness drives, water awareness campaigns, adoption of villages and also care of TB patients. Corporate training and consultancy services have been provided by many schools of studies including Institute of Engineering and Technology IET, School of Physics, School of Energy and School of Life Sciences and Institute of Management Studies. 
The school institutes of the university have over 100 well furnished classrooms with ancillary facilities, computers, and electronic gadgets. Optical fiber internet line with 1 GB LAN connectivity, Wi Fi facility, and ICT facilities. The university central library provides diverse learning resources such as books, periodicals, e-books, e-journals, databases, Shodh Ganga, online subscription of major journals through UGC Inflibnet. Koha software is being used for automating library facilities. The university has more than 6 lakh books, 23,450 PhD theses, 8,965 e-journals and e-books of various subjects. Apart from this, each UTD has a departmental library which boasts of thousands of books related to specific discipline. The university has very well designed, equipped and maintained IT centre. It provides round-the-clock services through excellent campus, wide networking in academic and administrative campuses through fibre as well as Wi-Fi. It has subscribed to 1 GBPS internet link through National Knowledge Network. The university departments and hostels are provided with Wi-Fi facilities. EMRC is the Centre for Producing and Broadcasting Educational Television Programs through Vyas, Gyan Darshan, Gyanwani Radio and EduSat, an initiative of the Government of India through ISRO for contributing to the program of virtual classrooms with nationwide access. It has a state-of-the-art studio for audiovisual programs, excellent recording facilities and lecture capturing system, LCS. It has developed 2,946 e-contents, 24 MOOC programs, 90 EduSat live lectures in addition to more than 2,200 educational films in the form of DVDs. The university has also an HRDC for teachers training which is funded fully by UGC. It has conducted more than 60 programs in the last five years which include refresher, orientation and other training programs for teachers. More than 2,000 scholarships and 70 free ships, 100% fees exemption to wards of staff members and 70% to wards of teachers have supported education every year. The Student Welfare Office has provided financial support of 83 lakh rupees to more than 800 students in the last five years. More than 5,000 students have benefited from career counselling. More than 70% willing students got placements and approximately 11% students have been enrolled for higher studies. The university has achieved pass percentage of more than 90% in all programs. Equal Opportunity Cell provided coaching for civil services, UGC Net, GATE, etc. for SCST and minority students. More than 300 students got selected in the international and national level examinations. There is a vibrant atmosphere during sports and cultural activities organized at departmental as well as central level. More than 75 sports and cultural activities were organized at state, national and international level during the last five years. SAWFEST National and State Level Youth Festival SFURTI Annual Cultural and Sports Festival Inter-University, West Zone and National Tennis Men Tournament are a few to name. More than 300 students have won awards at state, zone and national level youth festivals organized by AIU with regular outstanding performance in literary, music, fine arts and theatre events. The university has an overall champion in almost all state level youth festivals and elected and active student council helps in these activities. There are a few central facilities which offer services to students and staff from different departments. 
सेंट्रल लाइब्रेरी आई टी सेंटर ऑडिटोरियम स्टूडेंट वेलफेयर डिपार्टमेंट सेंट्रल प्लेसमेंट सेल कॉफी हाउस हेल्थ सेंटर डे केयर सेंटर आनंद सेल मॉडल करियर सेंटर स्पोर्ट्स सेंटर योगा एंड मेडिटेशन सेंटर हेल्प इन नर्चरिंग द होलिस्टिक पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स DAVV has a very strong eminent and widely spread network of its alumni they have made their presence felt in all major domains such as education administration government corporate sector arts and even media nationally as well as internationally secretary ugc professor rajneesh jain director ncert professor h k senapati are a few to name The university has a well structured governance system. The decision making process is completely transparent and follows acts, statutes, ordinances and regulations. Honorable governor of the state is the chancellor and he appoints a vice chancellor. The executive council of the university takes decisions on strategic matters. The registrar and examination and finance controllers of the university assist in the administrative examination and financial matters respectively lokpal is appointed by the chancellor to take care of any grievances academic autonomy is given to the department and its head participative and decentralized decision making is promoted at each level and there are adequate measures taken for welfare of teachers and staff The university has a vision document which forms the basis for overall strategy formulation. For effective development and implementation of the strategy, there are task forces taking care of important areas such as fostering excellence in research, energy and environment management, human values and professional ethics, ICT for learning and support, and administrative services, women task force, university industry partnership, international cooperation, etc. All departments adhere to specific policies laid out such as research policy, gender equity policy, green policy, etc. The university has created a strategic plan for coming years and has defined policies in specific areas. The university follows statutes and regulations laid by the state government and UGC from time to time. There are codes of conduct laid down for teachers and students. The ordinance 31 new ordinance 14 have been adopted to give academic flexibility and transparency in evaluation so that quality of programs is continuously augmented adoption of cbcs and swayam courses have been enabled by this ordinance the university has a well defined process of financial regulation it gets regular grants from the state government and mobilizes finances through more than 160 self supporting programs consultancy and sponsored research projects the funds generated are used judiciously apart from regular salary expenses substantial allocation is done for teachers training and research promotions are given to faculty members under career advancement scheme the university has made provision for reemployment of senior teachers after superannuation The university has adopted an approach of women first in all areas of functioning under the guideline of its gender equality policy. Women leadership in departments for teachers and students has been encouraged to contribute more to the university and society. Smart Girl program an initiative where over 14000 girls underwent 3 days workshop on human values and life skills was held. Women students have participated and won in various activities we have several best practices to name a few devi hella women first program transparency and flexibility in academics facilitating research culture training of non teaching staff and others feedback based action ict as teaching learning process earn while learn incubation center and entrepreneurship opportunities career guidance and placement activities extension activities annual exhibitions and events 
एंड इको फ्रेंडली एनवायरमेंट द वाइब्रेंट एंड कोहेसिव एंड कंड्यूसिव एनवायरमेंट ऑफ द कैंपस एनकरेजेस स्टूडेंट्स टू एक्सपीरियंस एंड लर्न ample green and serene places offer peace and enable learning the university exhibits concern for conservation of natural resources it has installed rainwater harvesting system in all departments and has developed four ponds which have helped in improving groundwater levels substantially departments have been equipped with solar power panels in collaboration with madhya pradesh urja vikas nigam which has resulted in generating 670 kilowatts of solar power this will now enable the university to meet a large portion of its power generation from a renewable source sufficient opportunities are created in the form of curricular and extracurricular activities for holistic development of learners conferences and seminars celebration of major festivals different competitions are integral part of the university culture interdepartmental competitions of dance songs and other activities mark major celebrations celebrations of festivals is undertaken at departmental level also so as to imbibe a sense of appreciation for our culture the youth festivals by aiu attract huge student participation several of these students have brought laurels to the university by participating at regional and national levels The Anand Cell of University has conducted sessions on stress management and meditation for students and staff. The university offers an astute mix of professional, vocational and traditional programs. Initiatives such as Central Placement Cell, Model Career Center, Career Counseling Cell, etc. are the icing on the cake. Due to these combined efforts, The university has been able to achieve a placement for over 70% of the willing students thus contributing employable workforce to the society. The university has been able to kindle the light of knowledge in countless minds illuminating the path to progress for its privileged disciples who come from varied backgrounds with a dedicated team of teachers and staff relentlessly striving for attaining an all-round excellence in every field of study the university has embarked on a journey of spreading goodness in the society by delivering diligent compassionate and selfless individuals through its value-based education for all those who have passed through and for the millions yet to come This journey of education has only one destination that of glory of dignity and of humility we are confident that with the blessings of our patrons and guidance of our gurus team DAVV will be able to continuously accomplish this noble venture